Hello everyone. In the last video of my video tutorial series on Unity Editor scripting, I'm going to talk about decorator drawers. Decorator drawers are similar to property attributes in the way that they are written like an attribute inside your script and they will modify the way in which your Unity default inspector looks. The only key difference being the property attribute and decorator drawer is that the property attributes for example, these two custom attributes that we have created in our previous videos will only affect the variable that comes right after them. So this read-only attribute will affect the achievement count variable. So they will modify or customize the look of that variable. But the attributes that we create using decorator drawers are not associated with any field. They are independent of any field or variable and they will directly modify the look of your Unity default inspector. They are used to uh, either add images, separators or buttons, labels, text, anything that you don't want to be associated with any field. A good example of decorator drawers is the built-in Unity attribute called space. So if I want a space between the float variable called weapon to damage and my class variable shoe I can use the built-in attribute space and it also takes an argument which is the number of pixel uh, separation which you want between these two variables so now if I come to the unity editor it will draw space between uh, these two variables one thing you will notice about this decorator draw space is that it won't in any way affect how your shoe class is drawn or any field that comes after it is drawn so it is different from the read only or read only with color attributes or your or any custom attribute that you have made using property attributes so let's create our own custom attribute similar to the space attribute using decorator drawers so what we are trying to do is to create an attribute which will add not only space between two variables but also add an image in that space. The steps of creating a custom attribute using decorator drawer is similar to how we created the property attributes in our previous videos. So this custom attribute will have two elements first a script of the type property attribute in an, our normal folder so let's name it space with image attribute and this script has to derive from the property attribute class and similar to our last video we will just write a constructor for our space with image attribute which may or may not contain arguments for our attribute in this case we don't need any argument for our space uh, image space attribute so we will just write an empty constructor and the next element to writing a custom attribute with decorator drawers is writing the property drawer for that attribute so we'll create a new class this one inside our editor folder let's name it space with image attribute drawer the only key difference between this drawer and the property drawers that we have been using in the past two videos is that space with image attribute all will derive from decorator drawer and decorator drawer is inside the unity editor so we'll include unity editor and then derive this class from decorator drawer now decorator drawer is simpler than the property drawer because these decorator drawers like space don't need a reference to any serialized property so they are not affecting any variable in our script so the functions which we are going to overwrite inside the decorator drawers are the public override on GUI function which only has one argument that is the position where we are going to draw our stuff and in this case which will be an image and to change the height similar to 
our property drawer class, we have the get height function, which can be overridden to change our uh, the height in which we are drawing our image inside our inspector. So what we want to do is draw an image inside the Unity default inspector. So for that, we will need a reference to an image. Since this is not a normal mono behavior class, we can't assign an image uh, in the Unity inspector. So to get a reference to an image, we are going to use the resources.load function, which will directly load through a script, an image that is stored inside the resources folder in your Unity project. So let's define a variable of type texture 2D. And when we want to load it, we'll write if We are doing this so that uh, the ongoing function is called multiple times per frame and we don't want to load the image multiple times per frame. So we'll only load it till the image is null, till the image is empty. And once we have loaded it, we don't have to load it again and again. So we have written this simple if check and the image is equal to resources.load and here inside the angular bracket will specify the type of image that we are going to load type of uh, asset that we are going to load so we could have written like a text file or a 3d asset etc and the argument it takes is the name of that file which uh, let's yeah now this uh, this function will load an image, put it inside the image variable and to draw it we simply have to call GUI.image or GUI.drawText, right, this function. It takes the rect position as an argument which is same as the rect position that we are getting from our on GUI function and as a an texture input we will provide our texture. Now we don't uh, really have stored any image in the resources folder in our Unity project. So we'll go ahead, create a resources folder. And inside here, import time. And you just have to make sure that the name of this image is exactly same as the name that you are using inside your resources.load folder. So the name of my this image is floral pattern. So I will change the name inside my resources.load folder to floral pattern. Right. One thing I forgot to write is that we need to specify to this decorator drawer that it is a property drawer of what type. So we will write custom property drawer and give it a type which in our case is of the type space with image space with image attribute right now we can come inside our player class and instead of the built-in unity space attribute we can use that custom attribute that we have just created space with image now inside our unity project you can see that uh, our custom attribute has drawn an image inside the unity inspector between these two fields a nice addition to this attribute can be then an option of adding our own height values so that we can give it a particular height and this image will be drawn with that height. So to do that we come inside our property attribute class and define a new constructor which can accept arguments. So the argument in this case would be the height of which you want the separator or space so let's give it a name height and we will store is it as a public internal variable int height so this way we can either draw an, an image space with a default height or a height that is specified by the user so let's default height equal to 30 and if the user has provided a height we will make it equal to that and to use this height value inside our drawer the steps are similar to our last video 
we will define a variable the attribute that this drawer is using and to get the values in stored inside that attribute we will just make it equal to the internal attribute value and just do a casting so that it is of our type space with right now this will give you the height value that is associated with uh, the attribute and from the height value stored inside the attribute we can override the get height function to make it as high as the user uh, is wanting so we'll write attribute dot height and also take care to initialize this attribute value uh, so that it won't bug out when you are using it before attribute is assigned in the get height function now coming to our player class we can either use it with a default value of 30 or we can specify it height for example it's 300 and now we come inside our unity editor it is drawn like with a box of height 300 and looks beautiful so this was an introduction to decorator drawers which are used to draw decorative elements separators images logo etc inside your unity inspector so this video concludes my video tutorial series on unity editor scripting thanks for being with me till now my next series would be on unity GUI and how they can be controlled and used by your scripts so please subscribe to the channel if you want to get informed when that series starts and new videos are uploaded